Well, just one day after President-elect Trump announced the pending appointment of South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem as Secretary of Homeland Security, the governor now speaking about that appointment. Noem says she immediately accepted the position in Trump's upcoming administration, adding that her and Trump spoke about the position a few times. The governor mentions that she sought out and specifically requested the Homeland Security Secretary job. Noem says she wanted to be in a position where she's dealing with one of Trump's, Trump's biggest priorities. She says her time at as governor of South Dakota has prepared her for this new role. Governors interact with FEMA. Uh, we obviously had deployed to the border many times before. Um, we'd had several disasters in our state that gave me the experience to know what we could improve in FEMA as well. Nome's new role will oversee more than 24 agencies, including FEMA. She will be leaving her post as governor, making Lieutenant Governor Larry Roden succeed her as South Dakota's next governor. Uh, Nome's appointment uh, is raising some concerns from organizations that help Native Americans. Those stem from the governor's relationship with nine indigenous nations in South Dakota. All of them have banned her from their land in the past year. Now, some of the changes that Governor Nome has made include moving the Office of Indian Education out of the state's Department of Education to the Department of Tribal Relations. This has made some people wonder whether or not Nome is the right person to oversee a federal cabinet position it's really not about experience it's not about you know a track record of, of national security it's about a narrative it's a narrative appointment uh, and that narrative is you know pushing Trump's uh, narrative of racism and authoritarianism one of the agencies that Nome will be overseeing is the Office of Intergovernmental Affairs, which includes state and local affairs and tribal government affairs.